Hey, what's up everybody? I'm KDMD. I'm back with another video. Today we had a request to do a quick scoping tutorial in Modern Warfare and uh, I've loved sniping ever since Modern Warfare 2 back with the intervention. We used to hit those quick scopes, those no scopes, trying to do those 360 headshots, everything like that. Um, those were the days, that was my jam and uh, I've learned quite a few things over the years about quick scoping so I thought I'd run a little tutorial for you guys today. So before we get into this video, I just want to thank you all for all the support and love that you've been showing me. We're almost at 200 followers on Facebook after just under three weeks of streaming, which is incredible. This is kind of a dream come true for me. Um, last video, we got about six likes on YouTube. So I'm hoping that with this video, we can get up to 10 likes. That's all we need, 10 likes. Um, and I'd be super hyped about that, super happy for that. That'd be sweet if we could get 10 likes. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you want to see next. Hey, if you want, come check out the Facebook channel. Uh, I try and stream at least two to three times a week. Usually Wednesday nights and Saturday nights are for sure. The other day kind of changes sometimes depending on my schedule. Uh, right now I'm a full-time student, so I'm just trying to get in as much as I can. Um, come check us out on Facebook Gaming at KDMD9 is the channel name. Um, leave a like. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. So we're here in the class setup page. Um, my favorite gun to use for quick scoping in this Call of Duty is definitely the Car 98. This gun has the quickest aim down scope speed of any of the snipers and the fastest rechamber time of the bolt actions, which allows you to get those quick kills. No problem. So we'll get right into it. We'll get into the attachments. Um, this is the setup that I like to use. Um, Obviously the monolithic suppressor is the best suppressor um, It gives you the most accuracy the most range cuts down a little bit on the mobility, but um, it's definitely the best out of the barrels um, Now we move over It's kind of preference here for war zone. I would say use the longest barrel you can which is the 27.6 um, But if you're just playing multiplayer just having fun with it you don't need a barrel you can switch this out for something else I prefer the 27.6 it just ensures that you can get those one shots um, a little more easier the bullet velocity is a little better um, so I just find it easier to use that um, I throw on the tack laser just I don't know why it just feels a lot smoother aim down sight speed increase um, aiming st stability everything like that it just I don't know for some reason you throw a laser on there it just feels a lot better to use this optic is um, definitely preference um, it takes a while to unlock obviously it's the last optic to unlock so if you haven't even started on the car it's gonna take quite a while to get there you can swap this out for just the regular sniper scope um, I personally like the variable just because you get the 3.5 and the 8x zoom compared to just the 7x zoom. Um, so in multiplayer, you can kind of get those quicker, more nasty shots than, uh, than you can with this. If you don't quite have this, um, I ran, I believe it was the Scout Combat Optic for a while. 
just to get that little more magnification. If you're in those close maps, you can just use a reflex sight. Um, this one's kind of preference, but I'm a big fan of the variable zoom. Um, so that's what I use. Stock, if you don't want a barrel or you don't want a laser, you can run the sport comb stock just to give you that aim down sight speed. Uh, make things a little quicker, a little snappier. I find I don't really need it. Um, stipple grip tape though is definitely helpful. It gives you that aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. So you can just run around and then you can just pop people in the head, no problem. Um, under barrel, obviously five pad, five pod, not useful. Perk, you can argue that sleight of hand is good. Um, Focus is pretty good, so that when people shoot you, you don't get as much flinch. Uh, those are really the only two I would say you could run if you wanted to, but I would say just stick to this loadout. Um, it's it's pretty killer. It's what I rock, um, and it does pretty well. So tip number one: keep your head up. As you can see in this video, right off the start, I lift up a little bit, I come, and I'm checking the right spot where they usually are off the start. Um, in shoot house here, it's a pretty common spot for somebody to be, but you can see that I saw a guy there, so I just keep my head up. I know that he's going to be there, he pops up, shoot him right here. Quick little shot, easy. Didn't quite get that one, that's alright. This one I'm looking, I know where this flag guy's going to be, he's going to be here somewhere. Uh, he ends up dying, but I'm looking, I know where they're going to be. I don't have my head staring at the ground, that's the big problem, is staring at the ground. It's right here, it wasn't quite high enough. And I missed the shot. This time, get the shot, um, get the nice little kill. But the biggest thing here is you want to keep your head up. You don't want to be looking at the ground as you're running around. You want your head to be up. Um, and you can see in this clip right here, I end up getting a hit marker because I was aiming a little too low. You want to keep your head up like in this one. You can see I'm looking around. I know where they are. I take the shot. Um, you always want your head to be up. Tip number two, you got to predict where people are going to be. So in this one, you can see I come around. I know where the flag is. Quick little shot. Easy kill. This one, I'm pre-aiming. I know people are coming through there. Get a nice little double kill. Um, so this one, I remember I died from over there. So I know guys are going to be over there. So I'm coming over here. Aim. Easy little kill. Now I know that all my teammates are behind me. And so I know that their team's going to come from this way. So I'm already pre-aiming that lane. I end up dying, getting a hit marker. That's all right. I come back because I know where the flag is. I see a guy throw a C4. So I'm already pre-aiming. I already know where he's going to be. I know that my teammates are behind me. And the spawns actually flip here. So then I turn quick around, get a sad hit marker. But I would have got a kill there. Um, same thing. I know where they're at. I know where they're coming from. They're still coming from over here. I just died from there. So I'm waiting for their team, pre-aiming, get a quick little kill. I know they're all coming down this lane. I end up dying, but I got two kills out of it, so that's not so bad. And now I know they were all on that side of the map. My teammates are all on the left, so I'm coming back, see if I can get behind them. I miss, but I end up getting a quick little kill here, which is pretty good. Um, and then I'm aiming, because I know they're all over there, so I'm just waiting for it. Um, nobody's there, so I get behind cover real quick. Get a quick little shot. I know there's more. They're all shooting at me, so I pop up. Quick little swipe kill. Didn't get the last one. Got a couple kills. So that's pretty much it. You just gotta predict where they're gonna be, pre-aim, know where they're running from, and just pull the trigger. Tip number three, you wanna know your ADS is second nature. So for this tip, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come down to private match, start a local game, uh, join the game, Go to game setup, come down to, well, let's say shoot house is usually a pretty good one. Um, you don't really want bots or anything like that, it doesn't really matter the game mode. Um, make sure you have your class set up, um, which it looks like these are all regular, so I'll just set this up quick um, and I'll be back in a second. Everything's ready here. Uh, you pretty much inbound. just want to find a little target like these. 
Um, you can see that they have these little circles on them, little circles, whatever. If you want to line up the center of your screen, you can start pretty close if you want. That little dot right there. And you just want to aim down sight and shoot. Aim down sight and shoot. And as soon as this hits, you can pull your trigger. If you do it too quick, it's not as accurate. You can see I hit right there. Um, that one, I hit just a little high right. What you want to do is you just wait until it exactly hits and pull the trigger. And you want to get that timing down at a bunch of different ranges. You can come back down here, take a shot over here. Say I want to aim for this one, take a shot. Aim for this one, take a shot. You can see that those are accurate. Um, the problem is, is if you pull too quick not going to be as accurate so you have this thing called bloom which is the spread of your shots that can go pretty much anywhere inside your reticle all the way until you hit that point right where it all comes together and you can see maybe that's why the tack laser works actually is as soon as the tack laser lights up that's when you want to pull the trigger right when it lights up pull the trigger so just get used to that at a couple different ranges and uh you'll get it in no time. Tip number four, you wanna sweep across people when you shoot them. So as you can see in this video, I start on the left and I sweep right across to the right and pull the trigger as soon as my reticle's on. On this one, start on the right, pull to the left, shoot, easy kill. I don't know why this works, but for some reason, when you pull across your screen when you're shooting people, it tends to, I don't know, register your shot better. Maybe you're just better at pulling the trigger. I'm not sure. But I find whenever I sweep across, either from right to left or left to right, I can get an easy kill just like that. Um, and then this last one right here, the guy just, I see him, he walks up, easy kill. So tip number five is just practice. We're going to get into a lot of games. Some are going to go good, some are going to go bad. Um, you're going to die a lot at first, that's for sure. Just don't even worry about it. Just use your sniper, go in there, do your best, practice on the tips that I've been teaching you, and uh, by no time, you'll be killing it. Um, you can see in these clips, they're just little highlights of uh, things I can do. And at the end, you'll see me miss like, seven shots in a row and end up just punching the guy so sometimes it goes like that miss 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 nah, i'll just punch him